Hey, my friends, Rocket here. Hey, on this gardening tip, gardening tip, I thought we were talking about Jesus. Yeah, that's another segment, although we will talk about Jesus in this segment. Ladybugs, they're coming in. Now look, here's a surefire way to get rid of one ladybug. You take your Smith & Wesson SD, 9 millimeter, and when you shoot that ladybug with that, it's gone. However, don't do that. The ladybugs come in droves, lots of them. And I think you're gonna be popping up the whole side of your house and it's not gonna be pretty. So let me tell you this product. You see that right there, 38 plus. Now this is a gallon jug, it comes smaller. You don't have to buy the whole gallon jug. It's an amazing product, it leaves a residue. And so what I do around my house is I'll take my spray tank, and I've got a backpack spray paint, spray paint? We don't spray paint the house. I got a backpack spray tank and it's got a pump on there. It's really handy, it works on your back, and then, no, it doesn't work on your back, it fits on your back. And then you've got the wand, and you're free to spray wherever you want to spray. But what I do is I come up about five feet. I'm five six, so that's probably about five feet. So from five feet down, and you can spray higher if you want, and I'll spray every part of my wall all the way around my whole foundation. That's a great product. I'm not a big fan of using tons of chemical, but it's a great product because it goes after insects, termites, spiders, scorpions, crickets. You're killing the crickets? I'll stop. Anything that crosses this path of this product, it leaves a residue and they pick up that residue and it attacks the central nervous system. So, if you see me do that after a while, you'd know I sprayed too much of this. That, no. But it's for consumers. It's not toxic as long as you go by the label and don't drink it like apple cider vinegar. But spray it. Now, so, so suppose this is here is the 29th of November, and if you sprayed the day, in about six weeks, mark on your calendar and reapply. But if we get a lot of rains, like today's not a good day because we're going to be getting some rain tomorrow or tonight and tomorrow on Tuesday. So let that front pass through and then spray. Here's the thing. Ladybugs go inside the house. Don't spray them inside your house. Don't use this product inside your house because then if it kills them and they're going to be in numbers, large numbers, they're going to go behind the walls or be behind wherever you can't see them and they're going to stink. It's not a good thing. So use the product outside. Repeat uh, again. Do it two or three times. Uh, I do this maybe two or three times a year. I'll do it in the spring and I'll do it in the fall. I've already done it. So probably next week I'll do another application. I don't have any ladybugs on my perimeter of my house nor do I have any other insects on the perimeter of my house. It's a great product. Oh, you're so mean, you're killing the bug. No, listen, it's all about balance. I'm not gonna have the bugs in my house. They can thrive outside elsewhere, but they're not gonna be in my house. So 38 plus, Hannah's Garden Shop. Here's the challenge with this. Your big box stores aren't gonna have this product. This is permethrin, that's the active ingredient. Hannah's Garden Shop here in Birmingham, Birmingham Alabama's got that, and I believe they'll ship it to you. 205-991-2939. And for all you pistol-carrying fanatics, please don't shoot the ladybugs. Let's take this seriously. I'm trained and licensed. We don't do that. I just thought it'd grab your attention. Okay. Have a great day. If you need me, contact me. Go after the ladybugs. It's not a good thing. Kudzu bugs as well. They'll bite you.